This is Cosmic Chaos. I am Marshall, for the purposes of the VOD. And this is a 15-player free-for-all featuring three AI. And Potassia, your late-night Führer, Checkbox, IBAN, FJF, Pro Alert, Monkey Soldier, Stasna, Legion Master, Emotarkus, Killer Kiwi Juice, and Aces. Let's just see. Place your bets now. Place your bets. <laughs> As to who you think is going to win this. If you're watching this after the fact. Still participate. You never know. Could be fun. Seriously, guys, one spot to choose from. Someone is slow! <laughs> We've been waiting essentially half an hour to get this game going for those who are watching the VOD. Um. <laughs> so, to have this extra little delay is just a little niggle. But in we go now. Four or fifteen player free for all. So, where are the AI spawns? Should have a freed bot down there. Ooh, we got Jables bot somewhere. I think this is Jables here. Oh no. That's Stasnar. Jables is a, a brownie. Brownie something. What? Where is. Okay, so that's freed bot. That's Jables. And that's Pakov. Those, those are the three AI. And now we're waiting. But we've got some uh, big names in here. Potassia. Uh, Iban. FJF. Prola. Monkey Soldier. Killer Kiwi Juice. And a few recognized ones as well. Aces. Emotarkus. Pro Alert. I have a feeling the Legion Master is a different name for someone we should know. Maybe uh, Stream Chat can assist me on that one. <clears throat> but who knows? And we're back. Got a few Legion players as well. Pro Alert here in Rusty Red. It's gone Legion. Vehicles first. Over here too, we've got Potassia, who's having a little bit of trouble with his internet. And somewhere, here we go in white, we've got Monkey Soldier. Down here we've got the Iban in purple. And we've also got your Late Night Fuhrer in yellow. We've got Legion. Already got a factory ready. Let's have a look at uh, some of the other players here. So Ace is already queued up, got a factory and many vehicles. Where else have we seen queues form? Over here from Stasnar, vehicle factory into storage. PGen, 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 PGen from checkbox. After Air Factory first. Curious. Most curious on an FFA defensive, uh, defensively focused map. Of course, Cosmic Chaos, as you can probably guess, is very defensively focused. If you play it aggressively, yes, you might get these uh, metal in the middle, but you also make a bit of noise, and therefore people might be more likely to try and attack you. And if you notice that people are attacking someone else, chances are you're going to try and want him to sneak from behind and take the bounty, because we are playing with bounty, and we're also playing with dynamic alliances. So let's look into the... Oh my goodness. What is this nonsense? I've no idea who's with who. I'm not going to even try. I probably shouldn't have put those on, should I? Too late now. So who's Iban with? Iban is with Potassia, Pro Alert, Monkey Soldier, Legion Master, 
and Killer Kiwi Juice. So we've got all the big names all grouping together. What? Children, come on. <laughs> Let's sort this out. We are good. We'd better be. We've waited long enough for this game. Right, well, as things are going. So the AI aren't going to ally with anyone. This we can be sure of. Who else has picked very few allies? So we've got yellow uh, is not really allied with anyone, bar uh, aces. And Staznar and FJF are allied there. Everyone else is basically forming these massive coalitions of chaos. And checkbox is relatively stingy on the allies, as is Monkey Soldier. Especially when you've got someone like the Iban with five allies. I mean, come on. But. I'm probably going to cast this on the assumption that people are against each other. Just so you know. Because trying to keep track of those allies is a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> as you can probably imagine. So who's down here? Pro alert. You're better than this. Walking your commander around. I will pick on you. Potassio, a late joiner, going in for the vehicles in the air with the Legion. Just to their north, Killer Kiwi, ready up with the bots. And the. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was looking for my hot build for. That's no excuse! No excuse! Um, and into the air for Killer Kiwi there as well. Anyway, you shouldn't be listening. Turn off the stream. You sniper, you. Going off into T2 here from FJF as well. Already starting on that T2 vehicles. As is, who's that, Stasnar? And then that sort of Sandy there. Where else are we getting T2? Anywhere? Anywhere? Anyone for the taking? Ah! Legion Master going down to the bot T2. Bot's a pretty decent T2 on this map. And the Legion Vehicle T2 is going to be pretty decent there as well that we can see from Late Night Fury. But bot T2 is going to be good because of the Slammers and Sniper Bots as well. If you can combine it with T2 Vehicles then um, that's even better because of the uh, artillery potential. The vehicles give you all that push, whereas the bots give you slightly greater numbers and greater rate of fire, which, depending on the situation, could be good or bad. And also locusts, if you manage to get them through and into the base. Also, very, very good. But, of course, with bounty enabled, you want to make sure that you seal that kill. Oh my goodness, F <laughs> Freedbot is really taking the Legion Master to task here. It's just a constant stream of dogs. <laughs> Yellow is Gregor's. Okay, your late night Fuhrer is Gregor's. That's good to know. So who's Legion Master then? I don't know. But Freedbot is being a pain... Oh no, it's not Freedbot, that's Jables. Freedbot going against Jables now. Okay, so Jables is being a pain, Freedbot is coming down, and also potentially raiding check uh, checkbox there. And where's the other AI? Paskov. He's being a bit of a nuisance to Stasnar. He's trying to get a lob up, and he's going to have to use his comm to deal with this. Otherwise, he's not really... Going to survive very long. Where's your point defense? Uh, Stas not. Potentially getting attacked by two bots here is not fantastic for him. T2 Fabers coming out from all those places where T2 is a thing. Naturally, you probably expect usually the Fabers to be the ones that come out for. Who is Checkbox? Are you going on a pilgrimage? That's not wise. Well, I suppose maybe he's allied with Stasnar over there. No, he's not. So what's he doing? Who knows? Going for T2 Air times two at the same time. What? 
What is this game? Okay. Fine. <laughs> Tita bots almost up for the bot as well. So that's oh, fantastic for everyone else. Who's this? Potassio almost getting up his T2 vehicles for his Legion. Legion T2 vehicles are pretty decent. You've got the Scorpion there to go with them, which is a bit of a... I think it's got slightly shorter range than the Leveler, but it has got a little bit of splash damage, unless that has been changed. It's slightly lighter armoured as well. Um, they also have the Earthshaker there, which is going to be pretty good for pushing. Especially as far as Pro Alert's concerned, who's only a little further behind in terms of getting up to those T2 vehicles. We also have the death marks, as demonstrated here by Young Fuhrer. Young Fuhrer? Late Night Fuhrer. Hello, hello, hello. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Legion Master was not happy with Jables just streaming units in non-stop. Well, that's what he gets. Plus, he gets a uh, bounty. Can't argue with that. Not sniffer to ball. But now Freedbot has no target, so he wanders straight over to the west. Towards Monkey Soldiers. Unsuspecting expansion. Great idea to go for this. It's slightly harder to lock down these ones that are around the uh, lava crevasses. Simply because of the way that you have to then build, and it takes a lot longer for the fabricators to move around. But if you can lock it down, it's good. The slightly easier ones to lock down um, are the ones between the bases around the sides and at the, uh, the straighter lava crevasses. But these ones here are deliberately tricky to, uh, to lock down there. <coughs> So Gregor's here with uh, the late night Fuhrer has put in checkbox, please. He's put in a, an investigator down there. It's going to give him a nice little bit of info as to what's going on in this Woodley region. Who else is doing what other strats? Let's have a look. Gosh, it's really tricky to know who's doing what because. Some people are allied with other people, so you've got Killer Kiwi and Pro Alert here who are together. They're not attacking. And I think Potassio might be with him as well. No, he's not. Okay, so Potassio's a danger. Ace is now pushing it against Nematarchus, trying to defend. Losing one of his units in the process. This is where you really need that commander on the front lines to get those uber cannons off. And also, ideally, where you're not stalling quite so hard on economy. So Aces here has a chance to take a little bit of bounty. Will he do so? It's possible. He will. He will do it. Oh, Pakov's been annihilated by FJF, who claims a nice sweet bounty there. Emma Tarkas doing the runaround, just managing. There for aces. Sorry, team. Of course, you guys are all playing together, ain't ya? Well, we got a few bits of bounty. Hello, checkbox is gone. To Potassia. I should probably have pointed out that dynamic alliances will not provide you with victory. So even if you uh, are in an alliance, you guys will have to break it at some point. So backstabs are going to be a thing in this game. And I hope people are going to be aware. Of course, you don't want to show yourself up as a bit of a backstabber too early on. You want to get yourself in the optimum position before backstabbing to make sure that you can't be uh, retaliated against in a surprised manner. And that is the thing about dynamic alliances. Ah, Prolet surrounded by friends and family. Slowly does it, Prolet. Slowly does it. <laughs> Though he's going to go in against Potassia now. Is Potassia going to sue for peace or is Prolet? No. 
We've got a Scorpion there with a splash damage against lots of T1 units. Not fantastic for Pro Alert, the aggressor. Against Legion Defense. Mm, that's not going to fly, I'm afraid. Especially not with the Corsairs. Mobile artillery there. By Scorpion. But up now comes Legion Master towards Pro Alert. Are they on the same team? They are not. Pro Alert could not be long for this world. He needs to start running towards Kiwi right now. He should have radar coverage of this. He should know what's up. And he should know that he is not. Got the capability to fight against this. Pro Alert, run! Run! Where is Kiwis? Don't rely on Kiwi. Oh, you haven't... Wait, but you're allied with Kiwi. You should know exactly where he is. <laughs> how, can you, how can you not know where Kiwi is? You're an ally of his. Come on, Pro Alert, wake up. No excuse. First you commander walk, then you don't know where your allies are? Are you even playing? <laughs> No, he says. He's got a laptop open with Stardew Valley on his desk. <laughs> that or Factorio. <laughs> oh, Legion Master decided not to push in. What? Yes, really playing. <laughs> Hello though, Monkey Soldier. Finally mustering the courage to push in against the AI. I'm going to get the kill here for sure. With the air support and the enforcers going in, plus the Corsairs. Whereas the AI has very little in the way of, uh, of defense here. With the booms, the purges. Going to try and run in against this commander. Nope, they're going straight for that T2 factory instead, but... It's not going to last. Monkey Soldier really wants to secure this kill as soon as possible. And we're approaching the minute mark where we're going to have a new biome. There we go. And hello! There's the new planet. Literally appeared right there. In the sun. So let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Over here, on Off Off World, nice and calm. No fighting here. Just some deep lava crevasses, a little bit of metal. Nice small radius planet. Nice and easy to lock down, and only requires three Hallies to smash. So if you want to win this game, get over there, build some Hallies, smash Marshall's Muse. Go for it. Be that guy who blows up your teammates with a planet. Do it. There's no shame in victory. <laughs> Just maybe a lack of honour. But who needs honour when you've won the war, right? Eh? Little fight here between FJF and Aces, both of whom have... A, uh, a bounty at this point. FGF may be doing a little bit of scratching of the paint workers as far as the economy is concerned, but uh, ultimately defended quite nicely there by Aces. Needs to maybe pick up some more of that next. And I have a feeling that Aces is allied with uh, your late night Fuhrer. Yes, he is. Hence, not pushing in a that woodly direction. But. Uh, If we can, at all costs, get some semblance of normality going on in this game, that would be fantastic. Has Pro Alert survived for a little bit longer? What is he doing? Why is Pro Alert still up? Oh, there we go. He has run off to Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi has welcomed him into his home. Pro Alert, the unsuspecting. There you go. 
Checkbox. Shush. <laughs> right, so I did see an orbital launcher notification pop up there. Who is it that wants to go to the other biome? Where are you? Boop, 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 boop. Where are you? This is going to be really bad because I should have seen it by now. I really should have seen it by now, unless it was cancelled. Where on earth is it? I have no clue. FJF's base is pretty big, though. It has to be said up on the north side there. That must have been cancelled. I give up. Titan being built by uh, Monkey Soldier there. Good old Thor. That has the possibility to wreak some havoc. Looks like he's allied with the Iban, though, so he's not really at threat from the south, but eventually they're going to have to backstab each other. One way or other. Ah, there it is. There's the orbital, so Monkey Soldier has it. Monkey Soldier's off into orbit, and I'm going to pop up uh, a picture in picture against my better judgment there, just so that we can see who's doing some orbital nonsense around the place. And also so that we can see the other planet, because... Whoop, whoop, there we go. Just in case anyone ever decides to finally approach there. So we're going to pick up some T2 fabs with uh, this chariot? I think so. That's the T2 bot fab being picked up there. Always good. Looks like uh, Stasna is not happy with Monkey Soldier's uh, expansion over the, uh, over the way there. He's going to want to move down and claim that for his own. That's good for him. He needs that economy as much as he can get it. He's got actually a pretty strong economy as far as, as far as things have been said. There are a few people who are lagging behind. Your Late Night Fuhrer and Pro Alert being those who are noticeably far behind. Also, Aces is a little bit uh, strapped for cash, so to speak, at this point. Yeah, these are the players who really haven't had the easiest of games, especially now as FJF wanders further into Ace's base, picking off even more metal. With the Shellers doing a little bit of pickings off of the uh, the base rather than the army there. I have a feeling, is that poor Micro, or is that deliberate? Either way, it's not what you want. And we also have Killer Kiwi in orbit. So they're both going to go and contest off off world. What is checkbox on about? Is there, does anyone in, in chat know German? Because this is some verbal diarrhea going on in uh, in game chat right now. I feel. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's actually doing some uh, educational stuff for, for for German speakers. I don't know. I don't speak German. I don't read German. Either way, let's have a look at some action. So, Legion Master trying to get into Pro Alert's base, keeping his Blue Hawks at a distance there, which is really nice micro, especially against the uh, the Panzers. Oh, we've got some Hives coming in now, too. But, uh, we'll do a little bit of damage against them. Oh, hello. They're actually not as high metal value units as I initially thought, but they can focus down those Hives very, very easily. And Pro Alert at this stage of the game is looking mighty flimsy. I wouldn't blame Killer Kiwi for just deciding, you know what, I'll scrap this alliance, I'm going to kill you and claim your bounty. Yep, new call in then. <laughs> oh my god! So, okay, Pro Alert's in for the long game. <laughs> Meanwhile, Legion Master's going to move up and take that base. We can already see the Fabricators moving in as we speak. 
Thor is getting there for Monkey Soldier. Stasnar also trying to claim, still trying to claim away from Monkey Soldier, this uh, this empty base over here. There's a lot of wreckage now that can be uh, reclaimed. A lot of it. Just send a few combat fabs around and claim a whole bunch of metal, because look at all those red numbers in the metal column in the, uh, the eco tab over there. It's not looking pretty. Aces is just managing to survive. Kiwi, you have a pink b issue in the back of your base. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> is Kiwi allied with Potassia? I wonder. He's not. Oh. Well, there is the big problem. In come the Novas. They've got nothing to do. There's no air there for them to uh, fight off against. But now the scout is there. He sees the two commanders. And he thinks, ooh, that's a juicy double bounty if I just about manage to get in there. Will he reroute for it? He's building some meteors, of all things. So it's possible that he's looking for ways to uh, bypass the defences. You know, actually, I'm going to turn off that picture-in-picture picture to save my frames, because that is necessary. Let's have a look over on Off-Off World. Monkey Soldier over there. A nice base of Bruin. A Kiwi on the other side, with a fab and idling. Allied mode is so dumb. Yeah, well, it was requested by uh, the players, so... Sorry, Kiwi. It was my mistake. Can always just the de, uh, de friend zone pro alert and uh, kill him. You know, all he's doing is uh, being parasitic of your defence. Oh dear! Hello, uh, the young Führer, late young, young. Why do I keep calling him young Führer? Late night Führer is in a little bit of a pickle. Getting attacked from two sides here, the Iban and Legion Master coming in from the south and the west. This is not looking fabulous. He has got the shield there that's only just holding. He's got a nuke that he was trying to build, but down goes the launcher. That is a lot of wasted metal on that nuke, unfortunately for him. Running his commander up to the north to the refuge of his ally Aces. As he knows, he's not long for this base. But Aces isn't long for this, uh, this world either. As FJF is moving in with yet another force, and Aces has not got the force to defend against this. FJF is looking very, very bloated in this game right now. He has a massive army and a massive base and it just seems to keep going up and up and up. He hasn't, however, got the greatest economy, which is surprising. That goes to Potassia. But here we are with the Meteors. Potassia is struggling with the metal now that the, uh, the Meteors have to use that to produce the... Uh, the little drones there. I don't quite get the name of it. I'll get it eventually. Sometime. And he's leaving them in range of the spinners. Those are meteors you're letting die. Oh, there we go with the Earthstakers. Proving their worth there. In come the Scorpions now. Backed up by Earthshakers. And all of a sudden, Killer Kiwi's defensive forces are uh, not looking very strong indeed, although he has just finished an Ares. Will that save him? Will that save him and Pro Alert? He has... <laughs> he has a buddy to save here. He's got a duty of care. He can't just let this subside. And the Ares manages to shoot over the factories too. That's fantastic defense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's that? Where's that? That looks like aces, and the <laughs> late night Führer are running away. Who do they want to give their bounty to? There's a weakened commander here. Will it go to the Legion Master? I think it will. But they'll also 
go to FJF there. Oh, there we go. FJF claims another bounty there, and the Legion Master just manages to pinch that bounty from Late Night Fuhrer. FJF will probably be thinking, oh, damn! If only I was slightly faster. Well, that's what happens when you have all vehicles in your forces, rather than bots. There you go. Especially when uh, he realises that actually all he needed to do was sneeze on yellow, and he would have got that bounty. But that's what you call snooze you lose. I've also got an Ares up from Stasnar now as well. Stasnar and FJF have... These two guys are going to... <laughs> their relationship is going to heat up big time towards the end of this game. I don't know who's going to nuke who, but something's going to happen. And we have a new biome. Hello! It's a nice lava planet. Way away here. Who's on their way? Oh, ooh. Blimey. <laughs> I didn't expect those two to be quite so close together. Um, yeah. That wasn't expected. So, yeah. About that. I need to edit this so that they spawn at pretty much the same time. If that's even possible. But there we go. Monkey Soldier off to there as well. How's he doing over on off off world rather than off world world got a nice base going there got lots of fabs too not a huge amount of defense but he has got most of the economy bar the stuff that kiwi has got he's just legged it away from his base for reasons that are apparent as we go back potassia wandering through and pro alert uses the telly too <laughs> pro alert what what is this survivalist gameplay here Accolade. <laughs> I'm a survivalist right there. Right. I'm alive! Yeah. <laughs> I say with a certain degree of disappointment. <laughs> ah, there we go. So, the Iban. What's he up to? He should be allied with Monkey Soldier, I believe. He is. And with Kiwi as well, so... Oh no, wait, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh yeah, he is allied with them all, so he's aware of what's going on. So who's he not allied with? He's not allied with FJF or Stasnar. Oh, someone's about to get backstabbed. Someone's about to get backstabbed. Someone is about to get backstabbed. Uh, Potassia. Come on, 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 Legion Master. Be that guy. Be that guy that backstabs. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> come on. He's hunting the commander. Moving at a crawl, you could almost play the Jaws music here, and it would not be out of place. Oh, oh no! Oh, this is it! Oh my goodness, the Vanguard drop! Backstab. Oh my lord. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boys and girls. That's how you treat your friends. The eye band's gone too. Oh no! The Legion Master's killed two people at the same Oh my word, Legion Master has been that guy. Oh wow. There is going to be some salt flinging around <laughs> in cyberspace. <laughs> Unspected. Well, yeah. <laughs> Definitely team game next. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Is that flub? I don't know if that's flub, Nick. Also, hello. <laughs> I don't think it's flub. There's not enough air factories for it to be flub. <laughs> My goodness me.
Kiwi and uh, Pro Alert must be pretty overjoyed that they're not part of this shenanigans right now. <laughs> Legion Masters just signed off all of his alliances, and I think that's probably safest. Here we go, FJF and uh, Stasna. Combined assault now into Monkey Soldier, who is absent. Hello. I wander through the base and think, where is the commander? Well, he's not there. And if they paid attention, they would have seen that he got off planet. Is that Flub? Nope. Is it Greg? Nope. Greg was uh, your late night Führer. Also, hello, Aces and Bluetooth. Welcome back. Come on. When, when, when are these two going to backstab? That's what I'm going to put my pip on right there. So, hello. Pro alert. What are you doing with that, Howie? So, wh why? I mean, if you can get Kiwi to help you, I guess. But <laughs> Monkey Soldiers had enough of that nonsense as well. Look at Air Fabs. Wait, are they allied to get? Oh, oh my word! No way. These three are going to ensure that they have a combox map on on, on <laughs> all in strat. <laughs> Wait, no, what? Oh no, Monkey Soldier's not allied with Pro Alert. Did he just reclaim that or did he try and assist? Pro Alert, ass let Monkey Soldier help you, damn it. <laughs> Although I guess Monkey Soldier probably doesn't want to have to lose his only uh, home away from home right there. What's going on on Offworld World? I didn't do anything. Well, you're not allied with him, so his commander's just doing anti-air. So precisely, you're not doing anything is exactly the problem. Here we go, right, back onto the main planet here. What have we got? The Legion Master. Readying with some unit cannons. FJF readying with some Helios. Those who are not on planet need to start. Worrying because they don't have a huge amount of eco compared to those who are on the main. Look at that FJF with 1,000 metal and spending it. So, FJF and. Oh, I cannot wait for FJF and Stasna to finally just decide okay, enough is enough, let's blat it out. That's going to be fantastic. I was in a voice with him, so pretty sure he was yellow. That <laughs> sounds like Gregor's was slightly salty. <laughs> I can just imagine Gregor's is like, No! How dare you kill me? How has Pro Alert and Kiwi still got their base? I, I, what? How has their base not been attacked yet? I mean, what, what is this game? Who's doing what? I don't even know. No one's going nuclear yet, which really surprises me. But that Helios and the unit cannons are very, very worrying. Vanguard's moving in from Legion Master to FJF. These could make a bit of headway, but they are very slow, and there is a lot of artillery focusing them down, so I'm not entirely sure how far they're going to go. They should be able to kill off at least another factory here, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Got to try and do better sniping tactics than that, Legion Master. Hey, here's an idea, Legion Master. Why don't you ask FJF to be allied with you and then go and Vanguard drop on him? What's wrong with that? It worked twice already for you. Nothing wrong there whatsoever. So what's going on over here? These guys are pretty static doesn't look like there's any fighting going on. Oh, oh, oh. Are they are they allied yet? Yeah, okay. So all three of them on that uh, that place are allied. Right, so they're working to defend it. So where are they going to build their halleys? Because they've got to think somewhere. I mean, that's a lot of 
eco that they're using on defense. And I'm not entirely convinced that the stalwarts have orbital to orbital capability. Well, I think they do. They must do. Yeah, they do. But you don't need those and tollers and umbrellas. That makes no sense whatsoever. It's just a waste of metal. Right, back on the main base. Have we got fighting? Unit cannons are ready. Where are they going? Are they going to go off-world, or are they going to go to FJF? They've got to find the commander first, and FJF's commander only has a small amount of anti-orbital. So if they manage to find it with a whole bunch of fully loaded unit cannons, that's a calm snipe. <gasps> Probolad's nuke's almost ready! <gasps> what?! No way! <laughs> He's got to get it finished soon, though. As FJF is turning his sights onto Kiwi again. What is this game? What is this game? <laughs> Come on, Pro Alert. Who are you going to fire it on? FJF's got anti nukes. I know you're listening to me, so I'll give you this free bit of info. Don't fire it on FJF. Because that would be a waste, my friend. Also, don't fire it on the Legion Master. Because that would also be a waste. <laughs> it doesn't leave very many people to fire it against, does it? Unless you want to uh, kill off one of your allies. But, I mean, it's, you know, I'll leave that one up to you. <coughs> oh my god, these two have to fight eventually. There's no allied victory. make sure that they are aware because I feel like there is a fight of brewing here on um, pro what was that pro alert pro alert oh there's the scout on the commander a few bits of anti-orbital coming up and we're gonna fire those unit cannons now I should hope. Let's just go back and see what Pro Alert fired that on. Really? Really, Pro Alert? Uh -huh. Well, I guess it was small enough. Uh, slightly large enough, just about. I, w I won't judge you for that one, but if it was. If it didn't have that T2 in it, I'd think. Mm, okay. I mean, you had. You had a blooming decimator behind a wall line. You didn't need a defensive nuke. Oh, my word. And the mines. Hello. And goodbye to the units who are falling foul of them. You need more lines, Kiwi. Lines? Mines. There we go. Legion Master struggling to make any headway into FJF here. But he's not really got the units to do it. It has to be said there's so much metal that hasn't been expanded to by Stasner, FJF, or indeed uh, Legion Master. So there's a lot left there for the taking. So if Pro Alert and Kiwi have some idle air fabs on the, uh, the original planet, they can probably go around and weasel their way to a whole bunch of metal. And that would help them if they wanted to get... Oh. Diplomats. Hello, the Halley equivalent. <laughs> what is this game? I don't even know anymore. So there's gonna be some. God, what? Who's over here? No one. I mean, Monkey Soldier, but he's not really sorted it out properly. Ping from Stasner saying, "There's the com to FJF." Let's work against him. <coughs> and Legion Master realising he's been scouted and is wandering away. But FJF nor Stasner have gone nuclear, so nor have they even gone unit cannons, so they can't really go for the snipe in that regard. But there's a lot of air factories there now. 
There is a significant number of air factories there now, and some Helios are on their way. Hello. Where's the army ready for the teleporter? Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. They're going to want to be ready. Because they've got to defend these diplomats. They've got to make sure that the Helios are killed, but there are so many Helios. Ragnarok! Legion Master, what are you doing? Where? What? No, that's not on there. Where is he building it? What? Was that a mistaken build, perhaps? Or was it actually a legit thing that he started building? No, he has. He started building it in his base. He's planning to get off world. Can he, though? Because there's a lot of anti orbital defense around the rest of the planet. Legion Master is just trolling. What is he doing? He hasn't got any intention of leaving. Look at this. He's got no intention of leaving. Diplomats are located and almost ready. Kiwi is helping to the best of his ability. Those are flying up. The Helios are arriving. Here we go. Sat over all the tollers. That's going to go down very quickly. The teleporter's linked. The units are going to start falling through. And have we got the defense for them? Not really. But the next one has arrived. And next two have arrived. And the Helios and the teleporter's linked. More units coming through. Units scrambling to defend. Those diplomats. The Helios are just being swatted out of the sky. <laughs> These diplomats aren't even going to be necessary. Here we go. To what? Oh. mistake or whether it was deliberate oh my god <laughs> so everyone's gone everybody loses I hope you enjoyed that. Goodness me. <laughs>